Greetings and salutations. Ladies and gentlemen, let me close this. Because I got to fill a quota today. But, um, first, my advisor said greetings and salutations to you all. Uh, but. I, I don't know if everyone's seen this video or not. It's been on there for at least. Two months now, so I think it's time to get treatment. My treatment. And so, I, I just watched it, so I kind of. I got things to say, okay? Things to fucking say. So, yeah. And just to let you know, it's about this show that. I don't really watch that often. Most times, you're usually avoiding television because it's gotten that bad. But not for the reasons you think. She she's gonna say. Okay, so let's just let's just get this over. Okay, this is Sigma Productions. Bury your gaze. 2016. She spells it two K sixteen. Hi. So, topic that's been coming up a lot recently has been about the death of a Hello. Hello. Oh, and welcome to my channel. Let's try to be so Okay. Next up, the television show The Run Country. For those of you who don't know, Lexa was a lesbian who was killed by the means of a stray bullet. It's been all over different social media sites, it's been on internet press outlets, it's even been popping up in the YouTube comments of our videos. Here's a fun fact, or not so fun fact. She's actually one of several queer characters who have been killed off this year, and it's only March. That's like some new f***ed up record or something. Do I think what happened? Okay, if I'm correct, if this is on a particular show where there's a lot of, because I've also heard of like the, what, what was it, the, not 100, but the zombie thing, yeah. That was going to happen whether we wanted that to happen or not. Because there's zombies and someone's got to die, and plus the person you didn't want to be in that particular, you know, role anymore. So, yeah, there's a little bit more to that. No, no, it really isn't. It, it's about as fair as Weedy still pissed off about the Harry Potter movie, hey, where Harry died and then regenerated into another character. I mean, not to another character. Regenerated. Or well, come back to life. Yeah. Because, you know, I kind of just expected him to, you know, die, not. Oh, he's now reborn. Okay. Hey. But of course, you're going to say that doesn't matter because Harry's straight. Of course. Disclaimer. I never watched the show 100. The show personally never interested me. Then, you're... Then this whole video is completely invalid. Goodbye. Okay, we'll continue. And I don't know about others, but there was a huge red flag from the very start of Clexa. I stepped away because everything about it came off sketchy from the sweet, sweet kiss to the person who created it, a straight white male writer. Some of you may be asking, well, what does his race have to do with anything? To which... Along with his gender or sexuality. Because, yeah... My good Sigma production girl, I don't know what your real name is, but who fucking cares? Cares. It's the story that fucking matters, you idiot. I say, if you even have to ask me that question, check your privilege. If you're right, you're. How about you check your privilege, little Miss Snotty thing? 
Man, I'm sorry, every time I've heard someone use that, and I just, yeah, no, I, I don't care anymore, and this is bullshit. Systematic, yeah, yeah, because the system is always in my fucking favor as a straight person, always. Absolutely always in my favor, oh yeah. I, I'd probably say only because I'm female, that's it. You know, and it's because there's lots of laws around, like, divorce laws, children, da 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 Those, yes. In fact, actually, the male is a lot more fucked over than, well, you or I. Right, okay, so, check yours. Born into privilege. Like, in the story, that's not available. If you're straight, you also have privilege. If you're male... Show me. Show me how I have privilege. Seriously. Show me, you dumb bitch. You have privilege coming out of your ass. When you're all three of these things in America, you're including that stupid cisgender thing. Also, why censor yourself? Seriously, it's YouTube. No one gives a fuck if you curse. Hear me? Hear what I just said? I just cursed. Oh my god, send out the Sharia police. I just cursed. Oh my god. Jack on the Titanic with your arms out screaming, I'm the king of the Technically it wasn't Jack. It was that I can't remember what was the name of the girl. It doesn't matter. She she even got painted like one of his French girls, remember? So yeah, fuck that. The world, but instead of freezing to death and falling to the bottom of the Atlantic Ocean. Your ass is placed in a lifeboat with Wi-Fi, a TV, and a never-ending supply of food and water. When you have someone wrapped up in that warm blanket of privilege right for a community that's free- Right, because I'm privileged. Oh yeah, yeah. Because nearly surviving a possible a situation where I could have died, right, and then getting a little bit of help afterwards, you're yeah, fucking right. But of course, you're gonna continue. And their ass is up. It's a recipe for disaster, and it shouldn't be. Right, because there'll be no one helping those people. Of course not. Fuck you. I like to place straight people into three different categories. First category are the ignorant ones. Some of us are ignorant, and there's nothing wrong with that. I roll my eyes. People like to think of the word ignorant with a negative connotation, but formally it just means... We know what the word ignorant means. It means I do not know. Or not knowledgeable or something. Okay? That's all it means. A lack of knowledge. Second category are those of us who are willing to listen and learn. Those of us in the second category... You okay. So, people who just don't know automatically can't go into that category. Absolutely not. Of course not. That that's just stupid, right? Use our privilege and our platform to allow those who are screaming with no results to speak with a megaphone. Third category are the dumbasses. Uh rubber glue back to you, sweet pie. These ones are either blamed with not giving down or they're sneaky with it and they use the community to get ahead. The writing team and showrunners who hook an audience. Right, because that's exactly what these straight people are trying to do. You know, great. Now we have, on top of that whole gay agenda thing that they were talking about, now we have the straight agenda, of course. Yeah, we fucking hate gay people. No. No, religious people hate you. Um, that ideology you're talking about fucking hates you right now. I mean, if, if I'm aware, I believe now they're trying to use this argument that there's this gay triarchy and stuff. Now, maybe they're supportive of lesbians, but which that's what you are, queer or whatever. But... Pretty soon, you guys are going to get fucked in the ass by the same people you're defending. That's how it goes, you idiot. And then kill off an LGBT character on a sneaky one. They've been using the same... Or is it just part of the story? Because like I said with Harry, 
you know, I really didn't want him to die like that because as far as I'm concerned, I figured he was just going to die. Like, this is it. You know, after all the nonsense of being half scared, he was going to die. But no, he lives again. And, and, you know, and in some ways I'm kind of glad he did. But in others I'm like, well, that was 10 years of my life wasted. And not to say I hate Harry Potter, I just do. Not, and it's not that I don't love it. I still love it to this day. It's just like, well, that was something. You know, uh, uh, they put us through all of that, and this is what happens to us. You know, oh well, thankfully he's alive, and all's well, everything's fixed, all blah, blah, blah. However, I don't raise. Cain and protest. J.K. Rowling changed the end of the movie. It, you know, that, that's the difference. That's, and no, it's not going to be for the reasons you say you were going to. Say I did. Do anything. Okay. Anyways. Formula for years. Look Valiance with a gimmick. Showcase the character. Gain the diehard loyal fan base. Kill the character or the storyline after getting the desired viewership. They know the community is thirsty for representation, but more importantly, they know that that community has the... Actually, I have a feeling most of the community doesn't really give a fuck about it. It's just like, well, think about it. I don't... I like seeing black characters be superheroes and whatnot, because that's pretty cool. But here's the thing. I'm glad Static Shock isn't like Superman. Or I'm glad... I, there's tons of other ethnic characters, I'm just trying to think. Okay, I'll, I'm glad Wonder Woman isn't exactly like Superman, even though she's probably about his strength, if not more. Um, let's see. There's tons of characters that are not of our heritage. I believe the Blue Beetle is supposed to be Hispanic, if I'm correct. But I could be wrong, but yeah. Again. Nobody cares there. Um, it's the story that's around the character and what they do. Not their fucking hey, old list of descriptions that this is what I am biologically. So fucking what? If it doesn't give you superpowers or you will basically at best you just want to do this with someone. But that's it. That's it. That doesn't really make one unique. This is the same argument of me being like, oh, I love redheads with green eyes. And I do. But it's like, okay, so what else can you do? Personality is very important to me. So. The ability to launch their show higher in numbers for demo and views. Speaking from personal experience, I'd say it's hard to find a fan base that is as loyal as the LGBT community. <laughs> Apparently, you haven't heard of, um, I heard of the show, in fact. It's Hannibal, I believe. Yeah. They're on Tumblr, and, well, they're pretty crazy as fuck, as I've heard about some members. But, yeah. Or Steven Universe. Or, hey, us Potterheads, you moron. Huh? Um... So, yeah, yeah, you got a lot more to compete with, bitch. They don't get to see themselves on television a lot. Now, people outside of the minority community, they can't... Here's the thing. About the whole queer, whatever, gays, whatever, lesbians, whatever. You really don't know until they actually tell you. So, in my opinion, it doesn't really, it's not going to matter. Because if you can't tell until they're actually in a relationship, they're showing with someone of the same gender, whatever, it's kind of like, okay, you know, you don't know until it's too late or until they actually do something anything like that. So, yeah, it's not as simple as just, oh, quote unquote. Okay. 
and also, well, believe it or not, it's a TV show. I'm more concerned about my rights than I am more. I would I'd be more concerned about my legal rights than with if my sexuality hey, being represented. Okay, just say. Understand this? They can't grasp what it means to have visibility because they take their representation and their visibility for granted. I mean. Um. Sweetie, it's not so much it's for granted, it's because, whether you like it or not, there are far more straight people than there are gay people. Sorry, there just is. And, and there's nothing wrong with having representation. It's not that we take it for granted. It's just, sorry, we having to just make it up more. Sorry, grow up. Get over yourself. Now, okay? Seriously. And that's the thing. Hey, and I would probably say on top of it, it's not just straight. Hey, think about it. The same argument apparently can be applied to your race, your gender, your blah, 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 blah. Even though, in reality, it's just that it's not important as long as, unless the characters aren't important to the story or necessary as a story. It's just a bunch of, you know, you guys getting upset over nothing. That's what this is. Nine times out of ten. They'll say stupid shit like, what? They're turning her gay? God. Now this whole show is going to be gay. The gay agenda of... Excuse well, no offense, but it's not that I have anything against gay people other than turning her gay. It's just... Okay, if you ever watch Roseanne, I don't think... Her sister was gay to start off with, but as they went along, they made her gay. It's not that it's bad for her to be gay, it's just that, you know, it's either they're taking so much damn time trying to develop a good character that they forgot, okay, well, or they're trying, they, they think, oh, let's make her gay, let's make her da 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 that's going to make this all better now. It's going to make it much interesting. It's more interesting. That's the problem. Um, yeah, it may just be faulty writing. We don't like it. I don't like it either. Especially when it's shoehorned in to support an agenda of someone else's own. What do you think? You think by one lesbian out of your 20 straight characters and all of a sudden the show is I've even seen some people say stuff like, It's just a television show. Grow the f*** up. Yeah, because television has never left a major influence or impact on pop culture. You're right. It's yeah, it is just television, you moron. Television is usually a reflection of our current society. That's about it. And also, you're talking about TV shows that or not, and I say this again, and frankly I find this one to be kind of sad on the basis of really, seriously, saved your life. I know it's just a bland, stupid saying, just like, oh, someone, you know, they're raping my childhood. Well, in reality, no one actually raped your childhood, it's more of no, this is my favorite movie, and they're destroying my childhood memories. You know, so that's why we say raped. It's in this case, you know, might as well be doing that. Uh, however, it didn't actually save her life. It, it was more, oh, she saw something pretty or wonderful or something good that made her feel better about herself, and that's why. And it happened to be that show. Could have been anything. It just happened to be that show. You moron. Just television. Again. Yeah, it is just fucking television. Because, here's the thing. What if we didn't have those shows? Would these people have actually killed themselves? Or would they just gone over it? 9 times out of 10. I don't think you're aware of this, but 
Yes, there are girls who commit suicide, but guess what? Nine times out of ten, we're very, very unlikely. I probably mean four times less likely to commit suicide as opposed to a boy hey, at that age, or at all, as women. Yes. We, we just don't. Sorry to say this, maybe, but men? Oh, fucking A. No. There's something missing in their minds that doing, they just go off and do it. If they mean to do it, they're going to do it. Sorry. They don't understand. They can't grasp it. They can't grasp it. Oh, yeah, we can't understand. Oh, yeah. As you just show me a few posts that showcase how we don't understand. Fuck you. That's why representation and visibility is important. So let me try to help. Let's set up a scenario here. We have Johnny and uh -huh. his two mother. They're watching TV and they see a straight couple kiss on the television. Johnny turns to his mom and says, Mom, how come we never see two mommies kiss on TV? To which the mother has to say, Oh no, John, there's, there's somebody just like mommy right there. Oh, she's, she's dead. She's dead. Okay, first of all, I have to ask a few questions. Why the hell would you have your child watching the show 100? I'm pretty sure that's not something that my child would have been allowed to watch. Not because there's gay people in there, but because maybe it's kind of, you know, too fucking violent, or maybe there's too many deaths. Uh, two. Oh. Oh. Why is it you cannot just say, you know, those two straight people, those heterosexual people over there, and how they feel about each other, it's the same as your mom. You know, I and your mommy feel about each other. Done. Freaking retard of America. But, but still, that she, she was there. That, that's not right. It shouldn't be that way. Now, a straight person, they replenish. Their, I mean, we're like f***ing cockroaches on TV. You can see us anywhere. If there was a TV... Yeah. Cockroaches? Real nice. Adam bomb? We'd all survive. And the lesbian would die from a neighborhood. That's how bad it's gotten. It's, it's progressively getting worse. Just because you have one queer character on the show, you can't use that as like a quota pill. Like, oh, they're not doing it as a quota field. No. And trust me, if they did it as one, guess who we have to blame for that? Hmm. Yeah. Good fucking job. Until next year, like, I don't even understand the line of thinking. My point is, those people are not gay. We know you don't. We know you don't understand anything, do you? Bastards can't get away with this anymore because of the growth of social media and YouTube and sites just like it. People are now given a platform to be able to drag your ass if you try to pull this kind of shit, and they shouldn't. No, no, they shouldn't. I'm sorry. I defend the artist and I defend the writers. Why do I do this? Because I happen to be in that same camp, you fucking moron. One, we don't have to write stories that you like, we don't have to make anything that you like. Hey, we do it because we fucking want to. Now, maybe it'll attract your audience, maybe it won't. It's kind of how art and music works. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. And you know what? To those people who don't like it, fuck you. To the ones who do, you're welcome. You know, and that's all we gotta say. Keep on dragging. No, no, we don't. No, they don't. They don't deserve any of the shit you idiots give them. So go fuck yourselves. Go fuck you and your friends. Ugh. You don't deserve this kind of treatment. Yes, yes, you do deserve it. Because you're spoiled rat brats. That's what you are. Spoiled fucking brats that care more about oh representation in the media of your kind. Right. Well, not my kind actually, because. And you said you were gay or something. However, straight, gay, it doesn't fucking matter, you idiot. Yes, it does. 
are better. No, you don't. Anyways, yeah. That was the most stupidest thing I could have ever seen. Anyways, um, this is Pandora, Pandora the Ecliptic, telling Sigma Productions, go die somewhere, please. You know, be like one of those characters. Do us a favor, show us how important it is, and go die. And to all my followers and YouTube subscribers, especially I know one, you know, a person is watching this. Is yes, um, I hope you don't take that the, all this the wrong way. But yeah, yeah, this person frustrates me like no one's business. So I hope either it was okay what I said, and you're not upset. But. Fucking A. <laughs> Anyways, please follow, subscribe, and thank you for watching, and, and keep it frosty.